the addition rules for probability. Two events are mutually exclusive events if they cannot occur at the same time. That is they have no outcomes in common then we can use this addition rules for probability. So, this addition rules for probability will be applicable between two events when they are mutually exclusive events. Let us go for one example. A single die is rolled getting an odd number and getting an even number in the outcome. So, they are obviously mutually exclusive. So, when two events A and B are mutually exclusive, the probability that A or B will be occurring in this way will be calculated in this way that is probability of event A or event B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Let us go for one example. A box contains 3 red balls, 4 blue balls and 5 green balls. If a person selects a ball at random, find the probability that it is either a red ball or a green ball. So, since the box contains 3 red balls, 4 blue balls and 5 green balls, so a total of 12 balls that means 3 plus 4, 7 plus 5 that is 12. So, probability of red or green balls will be the probability of red balls plus probability of green balls. In the previous slide also we have discussed that one probability of event A or event B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. So, this is known as the addition rule for probability. So, here in this case we are having this 3 by 12 plus 5 by 12 is equal to 8 by 12 is equal to 2 by 3. So, here the events are here the events are mutually exclusive because at the same time a ball cannot be of type red or green simultaneously. If A and B are not mutually exclusive, then the respective formula will be probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of event B minus probability of A and B. So, here we are having one respective table you can find that out of this 8 nurses we are having 7 female and 1 male. Out of say 5 physicians we are having 3 female physicians and 2 male physicians. So, how many female female staffs are there? How many male staffs are there? How many nurses? How many physicians? We have also done the calculation and this is the total number of staffs we have considered here. Now, the probability is nurse or male, nurse or male, but we are having some nurses who are also male. So, that is why we are having they are not mutually exclusive we are having some common. So, in that case how to calculate that is the probability of nurse plus probability of male minus probability of male nurse. So, that is 8 by 13 you can easily see that 8 by 13 that is the probability of nurse out of 13 stops probability of male. So, probability of male means this one. So, 3 by 13 minus we are having only one male nurse. So, minus 1 by 13. So, the probability will be 10 by 13. So, in this way in this video we have discussed that is the addition rules for probability calculation. Thanks for watching this video.